2020 turned out to be an incredibly busy political year. Thanks for joining us. I'm Melissa Langdon. And I'm Phil Aldridge. New at 6, organizations are already preparing to make an impact on the next election cycle. News 9's Victoria Saha has the details. If you drove through Highway 29 or Business 51, you may have noticed a new billboard up calling for Congressman Tom Tiffany and Senator Ron Johnson to resign. But it's not the only political ad going around. All this barely two months after our last election. The Democratic Party of Wisconsin is already gearing up for 2022, releasing an ad calling for Ron Johnson to resign after the Capitol Hill riots. Violent mob attacks the Capitol, incited by power-hungry politicians like Ron Johnson. We think there has to be accountability, and it's time for him to take some personal responsibility for, for the horrors that all of us witnessed in the United States Capitol. The Republican Party of Wisconsin saying fingers should be pointed at Democratic leaders as well. We saw over the summer that Joni Evers and Mandela Barnes jumped the gun and didn't have the facts and fanned the flames in Kenosha, and obviously the people of Kenosha suffered as a result there as well. So under the Democrat standard, they should be asking for their own leaders to resign as well. The political TV ad is running all throughout Wisconsin and is also making its way to our nation's capital. We're also running it in Washington, D.C. because we want Ron Johnson to see it. It was really interesting that the ad was also aired in Washington, D.C. It appears that Wisconsin Democrats care a lot about what uh, folks out in D.C. think and maybe not so much here of the people of Wisconsin. Back here in our area, the Minocqua Brewing Company Super PAC raised $32,000 to put three digital billboards on Highway 29 and Business 51, focusing on Tom Tiffany and Ron Johnson. These are huge, you know, freeways that are right in Tom Tiffany's district. So everybody in Wisconsin who's driving in this area is going to see these signs. Congressman Tiffany responded to the billboards by telling News 9 in a statement, I support free speech and respect everyone's opinion. I would ask the same standard be adopted by big tech and the media. Bankstead is hoping to have these digital billboards running at least until Inauguration Day. We have reached out to Senator Ron Johnson, but have not heard back. In Weston, Victoria Saha, News 9 WAOW.